I will fool the shepherds. I will know their greatest fear. I will know your greatest fear. Wake up, Joseph. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Untitled Horror Show. Um, <laughs> I, that's something that has kind of become a trend with us, is that we have no idea what to name our shit. But um, actually, while I was at work today, the name creek, 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 creek was stuck in my head. So The that's... Cheeto under the couch. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... yeah. The cursed Cheeto. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, this is a show, a podcast, I guess, in which we talk about frightening things. Not necessarily movies, but things like analog horror or just interesting, creepy things that we find around the internet, and we talk about them. Um, Paul suggested the subject of today's video, the Mandela Catalog. If you want to briefly go into what this is, Paul. Mm, yeah, sure. Um, there is a new type of horror that has been lurking the corner. Well, it's been around for a bit, but you know, people are getting more and more interested in it. You may have heard of things like uh, the back rooms, the mm -hmm. uh, the TV static kind of videos, the old school '80s VHS vids and stuff like that with spooky, yep. scary things on the screen ah! <laughs> this is called the analog horror mm -hmm. the analog horror or just analog horror it typically has to do with like old school v like i was saying vhs tapes and stuff like that yeah. you know, retro feel something that's like oh this could have been real but you know reality it may just not be what it seems yeah exactly that's that's a good way to put it where it's like it's it's very off-putting like i would say that analog horror makes instructional tapes frightening like yeah that seems to be like a common trope with a lot of these things like there's that local um 57 youtube channel that kind of like is like the granddaddy of analog horror and that's all it is it's just like instructional tapes news broadcasts like stock footage that's just contextualized in a different way to make it scary and honestly like analog horror is pretty frightening like when you actually sit down to watch the mandela catalog and pay attention to it you find yourself immersed into it and you're like holy fuck i'm actually kind of unnerved right now <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah um, they, there's a lot of like still shots and stuff that yeah. happens during it so uh, it definitely feels like something's always looking over your shoulder when you're watching these videos. And yeah, I, I really like that effect. So, yeah, you're you're sitting in constant anticipation of a jump scare that never really comes. Um, I will say that one of the shortcomings of this is there are a few times where it actually tries to scare you via like a jump scare or a payoff or something, and that part always felt a little bit short. But um, for the most part, I think that this series does an amazing job of like building up tension and making you really unnerved throughout. But the basic gist of the Mandela catalog is humanity or this specific county is under attack by something called alternates, which is something that's not quite human, not something that's not of this world, but it's very clear that it's a problem. And it kind of follows like the origin of it as well as how it's affecting humanity through various mediums like recorded phone call conversations, instructional tapes, uh, cursed as fuck Christian cartoons, etc. And I just think that it does a great job of like crafting a story and it's the first time I've really like felt the need to deep dive into something like this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh I've always been a fan of horror, so it's always nice to see new refreshing takes on things. And I feel yeah. like the VHS horror has been around, but not really to like this extent. So I'm really enjoying it. And I think a lot of it probably came because of like, uh, I hate to say it, but I think like Stranger Things is probably what kind of yeah. sparked this a little bit. Yeah. That's the, that's definitely like a part of it where it's like revisiting that old aesthetic because to be honest there is something kind of creepy about like Super 8 
and VHS type footage. There is something very unnerving and grainy about it. Cause it was like the awkward in between spot of like digitizing footage and uh, film. Yeah. So it was like this weird middle ground and you create like this kind of uncanny feeling sometimes. Um, and I think it's great for horror. Um, honestly, it's not something I'm tired of quite yet. Yeah, no, I really like it. There's still a lot that I haven't gone through. Maybe Noah has gone through more than I have, but so far, mm -hmm. so good. So far, so good. Yeah, so that's basically um, in this video, of, because of course, for the first episode of a new show we're doing, we have to do a two parter. Um, <laughs> we're going to do the Mandela catalog, um, basically like the first like handful of videos that were released on the, uh, I think the name is on Alex Kister, yeah. who is, he's fucking 18 years old, dude. And he made oh. something like this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So this 18 year old guy named Alec Kister, um, we're basically going to be covering the first handful of videos on this channel, which is, um, overthrown volume one intruder alert the mental metaphysical awareness disorder and the exhibition uh chapters of the mandela catalog so part two we'll cover the rest and we'll kind of wrap it up with our general thoughts after that but essentially that's how this is going to go down and um we will start with the mandela catalog overthrown There was a woman named Mary, who lived in the city of Benares. She was in love with a man named Joseph. Mary was young and of her team, but she got a very special message from a man named Gilded. I am the, a the Angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. So, it kind of starts off as like this like Christian cartoon about the birth of Jesus. And I don't know about you, but like I was immediately off put by this because as someone who grew up very religious, I feel like I've seen these cartoons at some point in my life. Okay. Yeah. Like they were just on when I was at like church school or something like, so it, it immediately created this very unsettling feeling. <laughs> you know, weird. I, you know, I, <laughs> the only thing that I ever watched that to do with like, religious cartoons was probably like veggie tales so <laughs> i can't i can't feel that same thing but it did uh it was very off-putting uh the way the cartoon does play out because it's like a angel comes out and the angel comes down and tries to say hi to this town but mm -hmm. it's like face is censored yeah so it's like oh like oh okay it's like a uh little angel you can't you can't know of or whatever but then for i don't know if you caught it but for a little glimpse a little shikundo there was like a like a warped face that shows up on yeah. the uh, angel it's like oh what was that but then that's, it goes back to being censored so it's like that, oh. that's when he reveals himself when he introduces himself as gabriel so mm -hmm. during the opening like crawl this text-to-speech voice is kind of explaining the story of jesus of nazareth Right there, is, it, it censors the name of the angel. So I didn't think we'd figure it out for a while, but then he immediately introduces himself as Gabriel. I think was an actual angel in the Bible. When it comes to stuff like accuracy, I have no fucking idea because I've never read the Bible and I haven't been religious for years. <laughs> but um, yeah. so to so take that with a grain of salt. But um, yeah, he introduces himself to Mary. I think she immediately says, um, I will do whatever God asks. Because mm -hmm. um, because the angel whispers something to her in binary. News for me. Whatever God wants, I will do. I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, I didn't translate it myself, but I, I looked in the comment section to see if someone did and someone did translate it. Do you know what uh, Gabriel says? No. He says, I am the one true savior. I must reverse the delusion. Joseph is next. Which mm -hmm. kind of refers to the birth of Christ. <laughs> okay. Um, but one thing I did want to point out, and this is a little fun fact for all you people at home. In the Bible, this this is something I do know. In the Bible, people that encounter angels are fucking terrified of them. Um, yeah, they always the the Bible makes it an explicit point 
to uh, say that, oh, they encountered something and they were afraid. This grave fear overcame them. Like, it always establishes that the people that encounter angels are afraid. Yeah, right? they always look like fucking eyeballs or something, like floating <laughs> eyeballs and spears and shit, and they go, do not be afraid, my child. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the biblically accurate angels. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, and it, so this is an interesting observation I had about the this very first video, is nobody's afraid of Gabriel. Um, Mary just kind of listens to whatever he says and then just says, yeah, I'll do it. And I'm like, ah, I kind of like that little angle. Um, mm-hmm. But like, I want to know, what's your take? What do you think Gabriel is? Uh, well, he's definitely not an angel, I don't think. Mm-hmm. So my guess is like, and then you're telling me that they want to reverse the, the delusion. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. Plus he has a weird face. So I'm he like, does. okay. So like maybe he's a demon of some kind instead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So perhaps like you know I at this point in this like religious uh, concept and stuff like at this point Jesus is probably already born in that and all that so it's like okay like maybe maybe he's trying trying to push it the other way where it's like no 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 don't believe in that guy you know <laughs> at least that's that's what I'm thinking so far. Yeah, that's and that's kind of the general consensus of this is that this angel most likely isn't an actual angel. The prevailing theory is that it's either the Antichrist or Satan because okay. they're actively trying to deceive Mary, Joseph, and the wise men into thinking that it was the one true savior and not Jesus, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which is kind of scary like if you think about it like this whole time (laughs) if if you think about like this whole time people have been worshiping the devil you know like this crazy religion was made and jesus was never born there is a little bit something kind of off-putting about that yeah just Um, a tad just a tad yeah scary if i i'm not very religious anymore but if i was still the the good old catholic boy that i was i'd be shitting my pants (laughs) <laughs> watching this like no no J- J- jesus is the savior <laughs> <laughs> and a little, little white attire <laughs> with, his, with his like parted haircut yeah exactly fucking moral laurel yeah <laughs> but yeah so um he goes to but, like not really much happens after that like the angel kind of wakes up joseph and flies into the air and like goes on like a speech about how he is the savior. He knows what they love and he knows what they fear. Wake up, you know? wake up. Yeah. yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> um, I, I like that. I don't know why I, I like that so much. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Cause it was like, like a computer. I don't know. it was like kind of scary. Yeah. Like when it's like repetitive audio like that, it makes it much less like human. And it's scary because no matter how much you try to repeat yourself saying wake up, it's always going to sound different. Mm -hmm. Like wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You can't really do it repetitively like a computer can. Um, But I mean, that's that's what I got out of that. (laughs) Yeah, Um, no, I agree. And this is the first episode. So it's like it hasn't even gone to the actual Mandela catalog that people know about yeah so it's, it's more or less just kind of like setting the tone yeah setting the yeah. tone so it's like okay like there's some freaky shit going on so. yeah exactly like it's recommended in the description i think to watch this with subtitles um because there are things that you miss if you don't watch it with oh, subtitles. Really? yeah about two minutes and 45 seconds in there is actually a poem in the subtitles the poem reads how frozen i became and powerless then Ask if not, reader, for I write it not, because all language would be insufficient. I did not die, and I alive remained not. Think for thyself now, hast thou out of wit what I became, being of both deprived. Which, um, Mm. if that did not make any fucking sense to you, (laughs) that's because (laughs) it was written by an Italian author, Dante Alighieri, and like hundreds of years ago. Um, And you you know this book, Dante's Inferno. Mm -hmm. I love that book. I actually have it on my shelf. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. I, I played the video game all those years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the better version. 
<laughs> yeah, because that one has like Minotaur dicks in it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, so the book is basically just super short uh, spark notes, I guess. It's about Dante and a guide going on a spiritual journey through the nine circles of hell. Along the way, they meet the sinners of each circle and they kind of learn about what they did to warrant their punishment. And the quote comes from when Dante sees Satan himself at the very last circle of hell. So that kind of leads to the theory that this angel is actually the devil. Mm -hmm. But I, I like to think that it's still kind of oddly ambiguous as to whether or not it's the devil or the antichrist. But it's definitely religious. This is not an alien kind of threat. Like we're kind of used to with when it comes to analog horror. I would say in a lot of analog horror stuff, it's very alien or otherworldly. But this is more like religious. It's a little different than usual. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot to talk about with Overthrow, and it's really just kind of setting the stage for what's to come. What did you think about it overall? Like, I don't know if you've seen this one before, but like when you first watched it, what did you think? I I was I thought it was an old cartoon at first. <laughs> so I was just like, what is this? But then once it started getting into the like binary and all that shit, I was like, <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The uh, the still of Gabriel is very un unnerving for me at, at the very least because it's just like in darkness and talking to you like. But besides that, I was like, okay, well, that was a video. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I definitely agree with that. Where it's like some elements of it are kind of creepy. I love that. Um, I love that it's using this old cartoon as kind of like a backdrop for something that's very like scary and yeah like gabriel's face he's actually pretty fucking creepy like i normally don't like like the morph filter on faces i think it looks kind of goofy but here it does kind of fit but yeah i, th I thought it was a, a great way to set the tone for what's to come which uh what is to come is the mandela catalog volume one but before we get into that i want to know what's like your take on the title the mandela catalog what do you think of that uh you know i was actually thinking about that um while watching these videos though and it pretty it, it does make sense uh why it's called that because it's like i said earlier like things might not be what they seem right mm -hmm. so if you know about the mandela effect where people they tend to like uh remember things differently mm -hmm uh so like an example like kit cat right yeah some people remember it as just kit space cat but some people remember it as like kit dash cat yeah and it's like oh like you know what's real then like who knows <laughs> right yeah and i think that's what they're based that's what they were basing the name off of because it again like these demons well i don't want to get into the video yet but like uh it, it, it makes sense when you go through it, at least in my mind. Yeah, yeah, I totally, I totally agree with that. And yeah, we'll get into it a little bit more. So why don't, since I introduced us to the last one, why don't you intro us into the Mandela Catalog Volume 1? You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. Sure, there's the big boy. There's the 15-minute oh, yeah. one. Yep, it, yes, sir. It, uh, it was... Yeah, all the all the Mandela catalog videos are really long. Three yeah, them. there's three parts right now, but we're only getting into one part. <laughs> yeah, this is just the first part, so it's yeah. like okay. Um, it's a, a training video essentially, or more like a kind of like a lockdown video. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you some tips and tricks on what to do in the event of an anomaly coming near you, yep. <laughs> and. Uh, it starts off very old timey with kind of seems like uh i think like a robotic voice right speaking yes to you. it's a robotic like text-to-speech type voice so if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics text-to-speech uh, uh like someone wrote it up for the government and it's playing on your tv with a knob on it it's basically going through the steps to take when you come across someone who looks just like you or someone that looks just like your family member yeah <laughs> and it's pretty i i I, th I think that's like pretty cool uh pretty creepy to 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 hear about because when they start off pretty slow and they're just saying like hey like oh yeah there are there's things out there that may look like people you know 
Yeah. Or even or like yourself. Yep. Yeah. But don't go near them. Yeah. Run away. (laughs) And uh, listening to like people's audio tapes of like something happened to my mom. Mm -hmm. You know, she saw something and things like that. Like it's kind of like found footage a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then they do these like these interesting photos that I'm sure a lot of people have seen where it shows the anomalies yeah it'll it'll show like a picture of one person (laughs) and then it'll show their copy or their anomaly version i think they call them alternates they're called alternates yeah yeah they're alternate so um but yeah it's like a big training video and it gets really weird towards like the mm, like after the first third it starts getting really weird yeah all over the place I mean, it's weird. It's a weird concept to begin with, but like once it gets to that, after that first third, then it starts seeing. It's it's it seems like the anomalies have invaded the TVs as well. Yeah. So it's not like the government's actually telling you to do these things because sometimes they'll they'll say things like there was something called like the think system, the think principle. Yeah. Yeah, the think principle, and then it gives you a bunch of steps on how to do things. And the last one, oh, it, it's by letter, right? And the yeah. last one, K, uh, after it gives you like a bunch of tips, it's like, oh, and don't forget. And then at the end, it, it like skips and it says, uh, remember to kill yourself or something. Yeah. Like that. And it's like, yeah. whoa, like, what is that? And then it <laughs> scratches out and it goes like, oh, know your place in reality. It's like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. So it's like a government mandated, like, like uh, steps to do. So, Mm-hmm. So the T in think is tell an authority figure about your encounter. H is hinder the alternate's movement. I is identify the class type, which there are three types. And N is neutralize the alternate if safe to do so. And then as Paul mentioned, yeah, K, um, when it gets to K, the tape kind of like glitches out and the music cuts. So it makes it look like it was altered. Um, and then, it, of course, it says to just kill yourself. And then there's not enough room for the two of us is the, sub- yeah. is the subtitle behind, uh, underneath that. So and then it cuts back to know your place in reality. So know your place was the original slide, but an alternate must have cut in, you know, the kill yourself part. <laughs> yeah. so that's what I mean. Like, the it seems like it's not just the reality that's getting copied. It's also like the, th- the very things that people are watching to yeah of course it's like safe. these alternates have gone into the instructional material um meant yeah. to keep them safe which is a is a pretty like analog horror staple <laughs> like cursed videotapes yeah yeah <laughs> pretty much it's, it's in all yeah it's in a lot of analog horror it's i mean it's the name essentially yeah pretty much right mm-hmm. um but yeah like so you mentioned that there's three types of um alternates and there is those famous pictures that have kind of circulated around and people don't really know the context of it, but like type one would be the doppelganger. So someone who looks like you or a friend you know, but there are certain features that are a little bit off. Like if you have a gap in your teeth, maybe this one doesn't. Um, so then there's uh, type two, which is the um, established to be And then type three, it's like, weird anomaly like inhuman physical features like they don't have a face or they have really long arms or a big head you know these are like the super cursed ones like obviously if you see this one you fucking know something is wrong (laughs) Mm -hmm. um so those are like the three types and um yeah then we get to uh i think their names are mark and caesar and it's like a phone conversation between the two of them. Caesar calls Mark and is like, hey, I need to rush my mom to the hospital. Um, she screams really loud and I found her on the floor. Yeah, it's not me, it's my mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. So it's established that they might have already been attacked by an alternate, right. but it's not super sure. So he asks Mark to come to his house and turn off, turn on his cameras. And Mark says something that was very striking. He's like, yeah, I'll do it, but I'm going to leave right after because you know how I feel about your house. It not be too bad. I'm just going to switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. 
I wonder what the fuck that is. Yeah, something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. they don't really mention that one. They're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just kind of like... that one. Yeah. So he goes to the house, and I believe, like, time passes by, but he's trapped there. Like, for some reason, Mark is in the house, and he's stuck there. And he's being taunted by what you can only assume is an alternate. Maybe it's um, Caesar's mom. I have a gift for you, you, you. I have a present. Just kind of saying like, what did she say? Like, oh, I got a surprise for you. Like, open up. Yeah. And um, the alternate has taken control. Yeah, exactly. Which leads me to ask the question like, is Caesar already an alternate in that conversation on the phone? Is he like, has he already been killed and assimilated and he's just trying to bring more victims to the house? Because I do have a theory about this house, Paul, which I will, Mm -hmm. I will, I will share with you in just a few moments. Um, That's my, my idea of this. My interpretation of this is that Caesar is already an alternate when they're on the phone and he's just trying to lure Mark into that house um, to kill Ah, him. That, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because very well be that. Yeah, because by the time Mark, or I'm sorry, by the time Caesar makes the phone call and he found his mom, he seemed very like deadpan about it, not really worried about his mom. Mm-hmm. And the way that they're talking to each other isn't really even that friendly or anything. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up, are you right? Yeah, it's not me, it's my mom. It could be because the voice acting isn't super great. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, it's, I don't know, it was very like off-putting the way that these two interacted with each other. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but anyways, um, Mark it gets trapped and then he either tries to kill the alternate himself which does not end well for him <laughs> you fucking bastard or he gets so desperate cuz he's stuck in there that he takes his own life I don't really know which one it is. Yeah, they don't say, but they they flash red on the screen, so I would assume he's in Gonzo. Yeah, for sure, because because then it cuts to that picture of him dead on the bed and it says nobody came for me. Yeah. Um, because then it cuts to um another instructional video for the Mandela County Police Department, which um I don't know if you remember what it says. I don't. Okay, I'll, I'll read it to you. Do not help a caller reporting an alternate encounter. No matter how frantic their screams are, calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. The call can be ended when they stop responding to your questions. Do not speak too much. You might accidentally reveal your fear. Nothing is worth the risk. 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 Yeah, that that's interesting. Okay, that that would actually uh, boost your theory, I think. And that is interesting because there's another video, one of these videos, they do a similar thing mm-hmm. involving a baby. So I'm like, oh. oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It is kind of interesting to me that it's like, is the, was this video made by an alternate or has the government just kind of given up on trying to deal with them? Yeah. It's really not super explained all that much because look, Paul, I'm gonna be honest. If the Mandela, if Mandela County was somewhere in the Midwest, everybody here would be so fucking loaded up with guns (laughs) that it would, there would be no threat whatsoever. So I have to believe that these things are hard to, are either impossible to kill that's why the government has just kind of given up on them or this was made by an alternate this video right i don't i don't really know because mm-hmm. like i said mandela county just sounds so like it would be somewhere in like louisiana and like everyone just has like ar-15s over there so <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know but um yeah so so mark uh mark is killed and 
then it cuts to a toddler stress assessment video. Is this what you're referring to or is it something else? Uh, it might be the toddler. No, I think there's a different one where it's it's one of the other videos, I think. Yeah. Okay, because there is two for like toddlers and we'll get to the we'll get to the other one. So it cuts to this video, the stress assessment video, and it looks like different images of like things like record your toddler's reactions to these things this, this is not super important but the last one is like a very creepy image of a guy who's wearing like a hood the intruder yeah the intruder which has like kind of become a meme that's, yeah that's <laughs> one of the famous ones i was talking about yeah he, he's kind of become a meme in these recent um years but did you know that that's an actual police sketch is it really? Yeah. That's horrific. I know, uh, right? That. It was a police sketch of a suspected home invasion, um, someone who broke into someone's house. Jeez. Yeah. That's like, that's like fucking scary if that's actually real. Are you serious? Yeah, here, I'll, I'll link it. So there, this was part of um, police sketches that were released recently because these people were never found. But these, all of these... Uh, police sketches are like descriptions that people gave. Number four is a meme too. It's the yeah, I've uh, seen that one too. uncanny Mr. Incredibles, Mr. Incredible meme. But yeah, these are these are based off of actual police sketches. So like the intruder being based off of an actual like intruder is kind of funny to me. But anyways, it deals with this video as Mark as a kid. He yeah. made like a tape about just encountering someone when he was a kid and it and it was this person the intruder and then he sees him and then falls asleep and then that's kind of the end of the video um yeah which my theory so here here goes here goes my theory about caesar's house so mark used to live there when he was a kid mark lived in caesar's house up until he was about like five or six but upon seeing the intruder, it fucked him up so badly that the family had to move somewhere else. And Caesar's family ended up moving in there into that home instead. Um, this seems to kind of line up with the intruder, um, with Mark seeing something as a kid, and then Caesar's house getting robbed or broken into years later and needing to set up the cameras. So that's like kind of like my little crackpot theory. <laughs> Okay, okay. That the intruder, that both Caesar and Mark have encountered this intruder. Interesting, interesting take, Noah. Yeah. I mean, where you get your crack from. Cool. Um, <laughs> I actually get it from the um, Cursed Incredibles <laughs> police oh. sketch. Yeah, so that that pretty, pretty spooky. And uh, the next one actually has to do with that same in intruder. Mm-hmm. It's called the the Mandela Catalog Intruder Alert. Mm -hmm. uh, it's essentially uh, what to do in case of an intruder. Like, uh, you know, watch out. There's an intruder in your walls. Like <laughs> yeah. I think I think he even says straight up, I am inside your home. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that line. It's fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, it's spooky. But I think this is the one to do with the toddler and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. This one uh, has to do with like, you know, once the anomalies are essentially in your house, like this is what you should do or, or avoid this. And one of them was like, uh, oh, if you hear your baby screaming while the TV is on, don't go into the room until it stops screaming. If you hear your child screaming or crying in front of the television, wait until your child stops making noise before entering the room. You will be... <laughs> That's oh, so that's fucking like, scary. That's like, uh, okay. It's like, what do I do <laughs> then? Yeah. yeah. But in the video, the lady goes into the room while the baby is screaming and the baby is gone. Yeah. And then they get drawn into the, the TV with the intruder on it. And, uh, well, that, that woman ends up hanging themselves. So it's like, yeah. oh, like, okay. So this is like the part where I'm like, okay, like definitely this like emergency alert system isn't what it once was, at least I think. Yeah. Because to me, it's more of like, oh, the anomaly is straight up just showing you like, you know, that they're here. It's actively now trying to like hurt you yeah. instead of in instruct you and help you. It's just, a, this one's just like a bunch of fucking weird imagery and stuff. And it's like, 
there's not much to it. It's really just the 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 mother scene, and then after that, it's just like, oh, you know, a bunch of children have been missing from these counties. Yeah, and Mandela County is one of them. Yeah, and like that's it, and then it just says, oh, uh, frightening imagery will now be shown upon the TV. <laughs> so, yeah, so like like that's it. Like that's really all there is to it. And it's just creepy imagery of like a house in the dark, and then uh, at the bottom right corner it shows like threat level of what is in the photo, and it starts off with nothing, then it goes to like vague, and then the intruder shows up, and it says threat level evident. So it's like yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah i don't know it's just pretty interesting to see and yeah i really think that the at the at this point the in, the alternates have uh taken the government system or these videos that the this one for sure is made by the alternates is what i like. yeah of course yeah yeah like you mentioned like this video doesn't really have a whole lot going to it as uh, going for it as well as the next video on here which is the um metaphysical awareness disorder doesn't really have a whole lot going to it going for it it's just kind of an explanation as to how some things work so the intruder alert video just kind of says like on top of the alternates there's also this motherfucker named the intruder to be on the lookout for yeah you know and he's taken i think it was like three thousand four hundred kids they're um, on there yeah and he's presumably drove in all of their parents to suicide just given what we've seen in that little video mm -hmm. um but that's basically it it's very short it's like five minutes long and uh it goes into that detail it's a lot more analog horror goodness of just like slow creepy atmosphere building but not a whole lot happens <laughs> Yeah, it's the same thing with with the um, the metaphysical awareness disorder bit or mad. Mm -hmm. um, it's just more anti stay safe propaganda. Pretty much, yeah. And this one's interesting to me because it, it kind of goes back to the biblical reference in the first mm -hmm. video. Because in the end of this video, it's saying like, oh, um, avoid practicing religious... Oh, sorry. It says avoid excessively frequent religious practice. Yeah. Okay, they, they don't want you practicing religion. So it's like, huh. <laughs> yep. Like, like, why would they do that? It's kind of weird. So yeah. it kind of tied back for me where it's like, oh, maybe maybe they are demons or something. Or like, uh, maybe it, it is like Satan or something, you know? Yeah, it, it is kind of like, it's a lot more hinting towards that where this is definitely like a very religious kind of incident that's happening right now. Kind of like, like the end of days, but not really like a meteor, but more like just like hell taking over. Yeah, it's interesting too, because whatever these anomalies are, or the alternates are, uh, they can apparently speak. And it's probably that binary that we heard from in the first yeah. video. And it, this video, they straight up say like, "Oh, if you are exposed to these to this verbal information, uh, you have a ninety seven percent chance of killing yourself." Yeah, it's so a ninety seven like, percent fatality. Yep. Yeah, so I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just very, in, very uh, intense. It starts getting really intense, I think. And the yeah. last part. Um, it's saying like oh the man in the corner is now coming closer <laughs> yeah it's just like, like a warning <laughs> yeah i don't know i love that shit I love me too that. yeah awesome yeah me too it's uh it's very well done but like we said not a whole lot happens and then we have the uh final episode or the final part for this episode which is the mandela catalog exhibition which is basically just another kind of like instructional tape, but it also has spliced in segments of these Christian cartoons. I think it focuses on Noah um, a little bit, but it's also a continuation of what's happening between Mark and Caesar too. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. it's it's like pretty pretty much wrapping itself up. So yeah, uh, um, this one has kind of like references to it all. It has a lot of religious references and the analog references with with the old tapes and stuff like that. And yeah, a lot of dark segments. Honestly, I, f I feel like this one's pretty tense. Yeah, um, this is the scariest one for me. That's something I didn't mention earlier. Is uh, the tension in these videos are like pretty good, mm -hmm. very well done. Yeah. Um, 
especially because like a lot of it has to do with I don't know if it's because of the old footage or because it looks real, but like anytime the screen goes black, I'm always sitting there like, okay, like what's what's gonna pop up on the screen now, you know? Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of moments where you're just kind of staring into like empty blackness and you do kind of vaguely see something in the background, but it's never, it never like, bleh, it never like comes at you and jumps at you. It's always like very subtle and in the background, which I, I really, really appreciate. And this episode exhibition is the scariest for me because of that. We have, uh, I forget who it is exploring the house, but uh, it's a uh, video footage of um i think it's mark when he's when he's trapped in the house before he's oh, killed is that what the, is going on in this I that think might be it you might be right that's kind of my that's kind of my interpretation of this is that it's mark kind of exploring yeah. before he's killed oh yes it is so i'm looking at the wikipedia page right now Footage taken from Mark's camcorder is used as an evidence reel. Mark's camcorder was collected in his bedroom by Davis Thatcher from Mandela County. So yeah, which is pretty fucking scary. Like the two doors that it keeps cutting back to in the pitch black is uh, scary. When he walks down the basement stairs, I'm like, oh God, like I hate it. I'm so tense watching that. <laughs> yeah, I hate, that I hate it so much. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, but there is actually a very important um, segment in this that gives a lot more detail into the Angel Gabriel. And it's when it cuts back to the Christian cartoons. And it's um, uh, Noah before he's like, you know, the story of Noah where he builds the ark and the flood and all that. But in this instance, it's um, Gabriel comes and like kind of like chastises or criticizes him for trying to escape. And um, and he forces Noah to bring another creature onto the boat, um, which, you know, it could have been an alternate, like the very first, the proto alternate, you know? Yeah. Um, so we don't really know what it, what that is, but it's definitely like a creature that's um, not a traditional animal in that arc, which is cool. Like, I love the kind of like corruption of religious stories in this. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very neat idea. I've said this before, but I think it's a very, very good job. Very, very well done. Um, yeah, you don't see it much. So yeah, I really yeah. appreciate it. And I think I, I, I think this video uh, specifically uh, exhibition, it's the final video. So it's kind of like, like I said, it's wrapping up the season. Uh, this guy calls it a season. So I'm like, okay. Um, yeah. I, I think this video, at least for me, cements that it's probably the devil saying these things or like making people do these things. Definitely. At least, at least what I think. I mean, just all the stuff that's happened and then the anti religious propaganda again and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it's, I don't know. It, it just, it, it makes sense for me. Well, Paul, you are correct because uh, once again in this video, let's, like I said, if you do decide to watch this, please turn the subtitles on because there is something else that you can miss. It is Corinthians 11:14, And no wonder, for Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Which uh, oh, kind of just, just straight up reveals it. <laughs> um, that the I angel... Wonder. Yeah, that the angel Gabriel is in fact the devil. Oh my god. And, um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And, you know, he's probably been, this has probably been in the works for, you know, hundreds of years. Because I think this um, this show takes place in like the 80s. That's like mm -hmm. most of the uh, recordings that we're seeing is that it takes place in the 80s. Yeah. So now this plan is finally coming into effect and it has some terrifying results. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's basically the end of season one of the Mandela catalog. There is um, some kind of things that are kind of cute where it's like, there's a little uh, PSA at the very end that reads, if you or a loved one has recently been affected by the result of exposure to analog television and mirrors, contact your local authority immediately. Financial compensation will not be available. <laughs> <laughs> um and there is a number for you to call i did look it up online it does not lead to anything unfortunately it's just a random it might it's probably like a porno hotline now <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that's that's basically it so that's that was the first season of the mandela catalog but like overall what did you think of it paul i like it i like it a lot yeah. And it's definitely sparking a new a new vision of horror. Definitely. It's a it's a new wave of things. And like yeah, it's like you said, it's um 
it's refreshing to see this kind of like religious horror because oftentimes a really lazy way to do religious horror is like what if the angels weren't actually angels they were demon instead <laughs> and it's like in this one it's it is kind of like that but it, it also corrupts what you knew to be like the biblical truth you know where it's like mm -hmm. oh jesus is the savior moses was here J mary joseph and the wise men and it kind of like taints that idea in a very creative way mm -hmm. um which i appreciated but you know i really enjoyed the mandela catalog a lot um i'm looking forward to going into the other seasons and dissecting it from there yeah um yeah it'll it'll be really fun and i did have before we go i did have my own interpretation of the mandela catalog title mm -hmm. and it's very it's very similar to yours and that's what makes it kind of scary is the alternates or at least the type one alternates the way they work is if as if you were you yourself were affected by the mandela effect where if i try to draw you from memory paul i probably wouldn't get all the features right so right it would be like if that came to fruition and was after you and trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> which I'm like, that, wow, that's kind of scary. <laughs> that's pretty scary. Yeah, I got I got like a fun little science project for you. Okay. Uh, and for anyone listening, if they want to try it out. Okay. Um, so if you want to experience the Mandela effect yourself tonight, you can um, go to the bathroom, close the door. And you may have heard of something called like uh, Bloody Mary, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a game where I'm sure most of you know, where if you stare at a mirror in the dark and you say Bloody Mary three times, then you'll see a scary uh, dead ghost or whatever in the mirror looking back. Yeah. Okay. But um, that is actually a an interesting phenomenon that your eyes play on you. Mm -hmm. and you can experience it yourself again all you have to do is you go into your bathroom you turn off the light and then you just stare at your mirror and you stare at yourself for like a couple seconds you just yeah. stare and what happens is because your eyes can't really see everything on your face your brain will try and remake oh, your face what the fuck and it does not it does not look the way that you think it would. That's kind of so creepy. It's very creepy looking, but you yeah. should try it out if you if you want a, a fun little uh, science trick. Okay. Give huh. it a shot. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, so if you want to meet your alternate, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured that uh, your alternate. So um, I figured that we end every episode of the show with a little creepy uh, fun fact that I found online. Mm -hmm. And um, here's, here's today's. Did you know, Paul, that in the Middle Ages, people used to eat mummies for medicinal purposes because they thought it would cure them of their ailments. And wow. it's one of the main reasons we don't have a lot of mummies left today. Really? Yep. What? So there that was is, more mummified people before. There was a lot more mummified people before, but hmm. a lot of fucking people, superstitious ass people, ate them. Mm, grandma, you taste so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thanks for listening to this episode of. I'm gonna. We're just gonna call it the creek, 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 creek for now. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to um, either leave them in the comments. Or hit us up on Twitter, which you'll see on these videos right here. Go to yeah. Paul's Twitch chat. Annoy him. Donate yeah. donate five dollars to make the sub message pop up yes. with your suggestions. Come on. <laughs> and um, uh, well, I'm Noah, and I was joined by my lovely host Paul, and uh -huh. this was the creek 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 creek. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.